Truly, my dear young friends, you are a chosen generation. I hope you will never forget it. I hope you will never take it for granted. I hope there will grow in your hearts an overpowering sense of gratitude to God who has made it possible for you to come upon the earth in this marvelous season of the world's history. You young man, you are a royal priesthood. Do you ever pause to think of the wonder of it? You've had hands placed upon your heads to receive that same priesthood exercised by John the Baptist who baptized Jesus of Nazareth. With worthiness in your lives, you may enjoy the comforting, protecting, guiding influence of ministering angels. No individual of earthly royalty has a blessing as great. Live for it. Be worthy of it, is my plea to each of you. Peter speaks of an holy nation. He does not refer to a political entity. He refers to a vast congregation of the saints of God, men and women who walk in holiness before him and who look to Jesus Christ as their Savior and their King. Young men and women, what a treasured privilege to have citizenship in this holy nation. Never belittle the rights, privileges, and responsibilities that flow therefrom. Peter's final description, a peculiar people. Of course you're peculiar. If the world continues its present trend, and if you walk in obedience to the doctrines and principles of the Church, you may become even more peculiar in the eyes of others. To each of you I say this. As members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, you have been taught many values of divine origin. These values are based on the commandments which the finger of the Lord wrote upon the tablets of stone when Moses spoke with Jehovah upon the mountain. You know them. You are familiar with them. The values you have been taught likewise are based upon the Beatitudes which Jesus spoke to the multitude. These with others of his divine teachings constitute a code of ethics a code of values, a code of divine doctrine familiar to you and binding upon you. To these have been added the precepts and commandments of modern revelation. Combined together, these basic divinely given principles, laws, and commandments must constitute your value system. You cannot escape the consequences of their observance. If you will shape your lives according to their pattern, I do not hesitate to promise that you will know much of peace and happiness, of growth and achievement. To the degree that you fail to observe them, I regretfully say that the fruits will be disappointment, sadness, misery, and even tragedy. You of this generation, this chosen generation, this royal priesthood, this holy nation, you of this peculiar people. You cannot with impunity follow practices out of harmony with values you have been taught.